Thomas, and congratulations on Over the past few years, Glenn Garnsey has achieved nice several team. milestones. In 1983, the New York native was elected by the U.S. Harness Riders Association as its 33rd inductee into the Living Hall of Fame. The following year, Garnsey drove his 2,000th winner when he piloted Father Foley to a nose victory at the Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky. Well, it puts, puts me in a group, you know, probably the best friends I have in the business are, you know, like Billy Houghton and Joe O'Brien and all those people I've raced with forever. And, you know, it's just a great honor to be, you know, associated with them. For Garnsey, who has trained for KD Owen and Castleton Farm and who now operates a public stable, many of those victories have come behind Phillies. I don't know why it's worked that way, because uh, when I was with my dad and I was younger, we never had that many Phillies. Well, it mostly seemed like we had Colt. Until I went to work privately for Mr. Owen, I didn't have a chance to, uh, you know, train a lot of Phillies. Uh, but it just seemed to come natural, and I don't, I don't train them any different. It just seems like it works for them uh, more than Colts for me. Garnsey, who began driving in 1950 at small fairs in New York, is known for training and driving two Harness Horses of the Year, Abercrombie in 1978 and the Philly Fan Hanover in 1981. He also guided Bruce Gimble to a memorable victory over Niatros in an elimination of the 1980 Meadowlands pace, one of only two losses suffered by that pacing great. This is John Henderson reporting.